Hello everyone, welcome to this video. And in this one, I'm going to show you a cute little bookshop I found called the Calico Cat Bookshop. It's been there since 1975. And this is in Santa Barbara, California. It's um, a beach town. There was Daniel. <laughs> um, it was, it was an okay bookstore. It had a lot of books, but they were all older books, like, and okay, we're straight ahead. I think this was the extent of their YA. Like, there was, like, Chronicles of Narnia and, like, I don't know, a couple other books. But other than that, no YA selection. So I was like, mm. They did have some really old Nancy Drew that you could see right here, though. I collect copies like that. Um, but I, ha I think I have a lot of those already. So, anyway, so, like, that was cool. See all the super old copies of Nancy Drew that still had, like, the covers intact and everything like that. So, that was awesome. But other than that, I was just like, I don't know how these are just really old books. Um, Daniel went off into the self-help and, like, business section. And so, I took a stroll around and... Here's the fiction that I saw, but nothing really caught my eye. A lot of the authors I had never heard of because they're, I don't they're not, they're not like current, I guess. So nothing really like caught my eye. There was no books like that. Jacqueline Winspear, I've heard of her books before, but I've never read any um, the Diana, well, G Gabaldon, is that how you say it? I haven't read those series either, and I think that they were made into some kind of show, but I still have never seen it. So, I just, we'll keep walking around. <laughs> I don't know why, but I thought it looked really cool through there. And there, just the fact that there's, like, books inside there, too, it was, like, there's literally books in every nook and cranny of this store, like everywhere you looked. So that was really cool. Like I loved the vibe of this place just because there were so many books. Like I, I was having fun taking pictures of all the books. It's like, this is like a library. Like it's beautiful. I just wished that, um, I don't know. I just wish I knew more of the books there or um, I don't know. Like, I think I was even looking for, like, Stephen King, because I'm like, okay, they, like, Stephen King has a lot of books. And I was like, they got to have some here. Like, I see, like, John Grisham, Tammy Hogue. There's some, like, Steve Martini. Is it Martini or Martin? I think it's Martini. Um, so I'm like, there's some well-known authors here. I just wasn't finding the ones that I was interested in. Oh, I liked this about the store. They had a whole section of, like, first editions or signed copies, like, because, you know, those are more expensive, especially, like, in a bookstore like this where they're older, to find, like, a bunch of first editions. Like, like this is where you come if you want first editions. <laughs> so, but they are, of course, they're more pricey. So if you find, like, a first edition, like Stephen King, uh, like some of those could be, it could be like $40, $50 for the hardback. So, you know, I'm not really like prepared <laughs> to drop that kind of money on a book. I don't think there's any author that I would really want to pay that much for a first edition. Uh, but there are people out there who do want to do that. So more power to them. I love this little section of like the beautifully bound looking books. Those are so so gorgeous. <sighs> I love bookstores, if, if you couldn't tell. So now these books, I think these are like, I don't know, science or history, religion, like more serious stuff. I am a fan of fiction. Um, Nonfiction, I don't really read too much or like history stuff. And so over here we have like more even older books, like these are, like ones that don't even have dust jackets, like they're so old. 
I like here too, they're grouped by color because a lot of people, oh, hold on, Ooh, the calico cat up there, doesn't look like a calico cat though, does it? Anyway, um, I saw that here that they had some of their old books categorized by color and I like when places do that because a lot of the times people buy those old books for decoration and so they only care about what the spine looks like, what the cover looks like. So it's really helpful when they um, like categorize them by color. It just makes it easier to, I guess, find. And I know that there was the Dollar Plus bookshop that I went to. They did the same thing. They had this huge table display area where all the hardbacks were separated by color. So that was cool. Um, the smell in this place. Like, it smelled like old books. Here's a cool shot of just, like, showing, like, floor-to-ceiling books. It was cool. But anyway, the smell. If you Have you ever smelled an old book? Yeah, the whole place smelled like that. <laughs> um, is that good or is that bad? I guess it's up to you if you like that smell or not. I don't mind it, but sometimes it's, like, a little strong. <laughs> Um, I worked in this really, really large used bookstore years and years ago, and it was this kind of same thing like this. It was all very, like, old books, and the whole place smelled very, like, it smelled like old books, and, like, a lot of people loved it, and some people were like, woo, it's really strong, <laughs> Um, but I remember working in a, like, dusty old bookstore like that. I remember, like, some of my, like, lung tests came back as having, like, like, mold or fungi or fungus or something, like, from, that you find from old books. And I just remember being like, okay, that is, that's, I don't know, that was weird to me because it's like, ooh, maybe I shouldn't be working <laughs> around all these books that are, like, older and dusty. And Anyway, so I didn't want to stay in here too long, but I had a mask on, so, like, I wasn't too concerned. Um, anyway, so I think there's Daniel looking at his business or self-help books, um, and I'm just going to keep walking around, even though I'm done. I didn't see anything I liked. I was just going to wait for Daniel to finish um, looking through his section of books that he likes. And, of course, here's another view of all the books. Oh, it's just, it's very pretty. It makes me want to, like, draw it or something. But, oh, that would take forever. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Bye-bye.